All right, more, we're doing some standing core today. This is called the Paylock Press. So we're gonna get that pelvic floor low ab, but we're also gonna involve some obliques because we're doing like anti-rotation. So you're not actually rotating, we're resisting rotation, which means that this, again, can be nice for pregnancy because you're standing, um, you're not rotating through it. Um, so standing core. Exercise band, you can use tubing with handles if you have it. I'm gonna close it in the door. This door handle would be fine. Well, no, I probably wanna loop it around. So if you have a band like this, you can put it on the opposite door handle. So I have it looped around there, so it's, it's already secured, and then close the door on that. Okay, so I have my two ends of the band. So the band's gonna start at your chest. We're using that candle breath. So as you exhale and get that resistance, you're gonna engage pelvic floor low ab, engage from that bottom up. So the work comes as you press away from your body. You kinda of have to figure out what angle the band feels good coming from um, and adjust yourself as appropriate. So you're gonna exhale and press out. Engage pelvic floor low ab from the bottom up. The band is pulling me with this way. So I'm trying to stay neutral and forward, and then inhale as you come back. Exhale, engage, press, pelvic floor, low ab. Inhale, come back. Um, you're gonna do reps on both sides. So you do 10 or 15 on this side, turn and do the other side. Also, it could be easily done on a cable column, that sort of thing. We're also gonna add in, there's some nice variations that you can do with this. You can add a Pilates ball for some adductor strength Again, nice for pregnancy for that pubic bone, um, pubic synthesis stability, nice for postpartum rehab for the same sort of reasons. Um, we're gonna add that ball. So feet are like a neutral hip width. If you're too far, you're not gonna be able to squeeze that ball together. So neutral feet. And then as you exhale and press, you're gonna squeeze on that ball. So again, band starts at your chest. Inhale, exhale, press. Squeeze ball, pelvic floor, low ab. Inhale, come back and release that squeeze on the ball. Inhale, exhale, press. Ball, pelvic floor, low ab. Inhale, come back. Um, so again, reps to fatigue there. Engage the ball, re release the ball. The other thing that could be nice and just adds a bit of um, variability and challenge to it is doing it in a half kneeling position. So I like to have this outside leg up. On that bottom, on the down leg, you can think about engaging your glute really well as well. And then you're gonna do the same sort of thing. You're gonna exhale, press out, inhale, come back. Exhale, engage, pelvic floor, low ab, inhale, come back. And now with the one leg forward, there's just a little more added instability, so it adds a little bit more challenge too. So again, two sets to fatigue, 10 to 15 reps or so both sides. 